Assalamu alaikum okay guys, my name's Salman al-Farisi, I'll show you true story of Palestine, please listen carefully, my sister want to tell. Hello world, this is Mahal Husseini, a journalist from the Gaza Strip, and I'm talking to you today as Israeli bombs are raining down on my city. This might be my last video as my phone battery is dying while we're facing an almost complete blackout after the Gaza Seoul power plant has shut down. Israel has cut all fuel, electricity, food and water supplies into the blockaded Gaza Strip, leaving over 2 million residents uh, with no uh, food supply or electricity supply in total darkness and also uh, completely cut off from the world. But as journalists were facing also immense challenges, uh, reporting on the ground and communicating with our colleague uh, journalists and also uh, staying connected to the internet. Everything and everyone can be targeted in Gaza. Every day of reporting might be our last day of reporting. We have actually already lost uh, at least nine fellow journalists who have been covering the events on the ground or uh, were at their homes at the time of the attack. Dozens of media offices and journalists have been targeted. Um, dozens of media outlets in the Gaza Strip have been targeted. Uh, and also uh, the internet services have been disrupted after Israel um, uh, targeted and bombed the two main telecommunication companies in the Gaza Strip. So while wiping out entire families and knocking down entire residential buildings, Israel is making sure that the victims are, uh, do not have access to the internet and also are completely disconnected from the world. 